the guide module is truly remarkable and it's just a wow factor. Have a look at this. I'm going to open 3D Slicer, which is an application that works in unison with Blender, so the two programs talk to each other. It is better working with two display monitors if you can. Now here what we're going to do is we're going to import a diacom. And once it's loaded, we're going to use the AI, Artif Artificial Intelligence Segmentation Program, which was developed by Professor Gauti and his team in France. Now let me run the AI segmentation. This may take a little while depending on which computer you have. Wow, look at that. Here's a segmentation without any user interaction by a click of a button. In the 3D viewport we can see how incredible this is. What I find truly impressive is that the alveolar nerve canal has already been created, which makes implant planning very easy. I'm going to save my Blender file and then we're going to, to import the AI segmentation into Blender. And voila, with just one click, we've got the correct orientation inside Blender. I guess you know exactly what comes next, and that's moving the implant to the desired location. This is very similar to moving a tooth in the wax up, for instance. Then in Blender we can view a cross section which gives us an internal view of the bone structure. This is a really good um, feature that we have in Blender and um, perhaps other programs have it but the graphics in Blender are truly remarkable. The next best thing that we have in our program is we can import a 3D slice and this slice will control the behavior in 3D slicer which is absolutely incredible. I'm now going to switch over to the green plane in 3D slicer. The cross-sectional plane in Blender controls the green plane. So as I'm moving the plane up and down, we get a full view on the left-hand side. I'm going to briefly hide the segmentation model and then continue to show you how incredible this is. We are not limited to any curves because we can create as many uh, 3D slicer planes in Blender as we would like to. Now you may ask how do we change the dimension of this generic implant and this is very easily done. We just key in different figures for the dimension and the length and make sure that there is one that you can use within your product list. The implant position may be very different to what you have in mind. I'm not qualified to place these implants. It is, this video is purely to demonstrate what can be done with these two applications. If you do have any questions or queries, please send us an email. Thanks for watching. Bye.